chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in this tutorial we shall learn about equations that are reducible to quadratic form there are many types of equations that can be easily reduced to quadratic form and then they can be solved very easily for example let us see this equation 2x plus square root plus 3 square root of x plus 1 equal to 0 this is one type of equation the standard form could be like ax plus b square root of x plus c equal to 0 If you find an equation that has x as well as square root of x then this equation can be easily converted to the quadratic form This is not a quadratic equation at first sight but it can be converted The general form is like some constant multiplied by x plus some constant multiplied by square root of x plus c equal to 0 so if you meet such types of equations then the trick is to perform a substitution substitute square root of x equal to y why have we chosen square root of x because this is the only absurd term here which is in a very different form so we have in this particular case chosen to write square root of x equal to y now you should remember that this trick doesn't work always it works only in the case where the form is like this i am actually just trying to explain that why i have taken square root of x equal to y because by doing this i'll be able to get rid of this square root of x now which implies so we square both the sides x is equal to y square So now I have this one thing for x is y square square root of x is y. I can therefore write my equation now. The equation becomes the equation becomes. So what does it become? X put y square two y square plus three y plus one equal to zero. I put square root of x for y and x for y square so my equation becomes this one which is quadratic which is quadratic So I have been successful in converting this difficult looking equation into a familiar quadratic form Now what I'll do is I'll solve this for y I have to find two numbers whose sum is three, sum of two numbers equal to three, and product equal to equal to two into one, c into a into c, and this is b. So obviously, by looking at this one, I am able to see that the two numbers are two and one because two into one is two. and 2 plus 1 is 3 so the solution is what y is equal to 2 divided by minus a which is equal to minus 1 or also y is equal to this 1 divided by minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 by Now I have obtained the values of y as minus one and minus half, but my objective is not to find the value of y, 
my objective is to solve the original equation for x. So, I will have to use this substitution once again to obtain the value of x. So, since square root of x is equal to y, therefore, square root of x is either equal to minus 1 or minus half. So, squaring we get x equal to minus 1 square which is 1 and minus half square which is 1 by 4. So, 1 and 1 by 4 are the solutions of this original equation. So, we have been able to convert this equation into its quadratic equivalent. So, whenever you meet such a situation, I am also writing the general forms and this is a special example. So, you can make use of this trick to obtain your solution. Let us move to our next type because many types are convertible. The next equation is solve 3x plus 2 by x equal to 1. Now, this equation is also not quadratic. The general form I will also write side by side. The general form is px plus q by x equal to r. This is the general form. Now, if you encounter or meet a question in which you have the form as 3x plus 2 by x like px plus q by x equal to some other constant, then the right substitution is substitute 1 by x no, uh, don't need substitution in this case. This is simpler than the other way around. Take x as LCM. Take x as LCM. So, what do we get? We get x here. And this will become 3x square. Plus 2 equal to 1. So, once I take this, which implies this becomes 3x square plus 2 and take this x to the other side, it becomes x which implies 3x square minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is our familiar quadratic equation which you can solve for x, solve for x as usual. I am not going into those steps because you can do that yourself. The whole point is that such equations or equations of this general form can be converted into a quadratic equation by taking x as LCM and then proceeding to separate x to the other side and converting it into a usual quadratic equation. Let us have a look at other equations that are convertible. He says solve square root of 2 minus x square equal to 3x plus 2. The general form of such convertible equations is square root of a minus x square equal to bx plus c. Such equations, they look difficult at first sight, but they are not at all difficult. How to solve these equations? You don't need any substitution. Scare both the sides. Scare both the sides. So, what will that do? I will be able to get rid of this square root of sign. See, how do I do that? So, when I scare this, this will be freed. So, I have 2 minus x square square equal to 3x plus 2 whole square which implies now this this will vanish so i'll write 2 minus x square equal to this squaring a plus b whole square so it is 3x whole square plus 2 into a into b plus b whole square which implies 2 minus x square equal to 9x square 
plus 12x plus 4 which implies now I'll take x square to the other side and 2 also to the other side Z, this will add to 10 plus 10x square plus 12x and this 2 will subtract from 4 to return 2 so which implies 10x square plus 12x plus 2 equal to 0 and which implies divide by 2 because 2 is common to all it will at least simplify the things 5x square plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is our familiar quadratic equation which you can solve by the usual methods I am not solving that to save time because you can already do it so if you encounter an equation of this type then the intuitive process is to scare both the sides let us move on to our next conversion he says solve square root of 2x plus 9 minus square root of x minus 4 equal to 3 the general form of this equation is square root of ax plus b plus square root of cx plus d equal to e. If you meet equations of this type, they too are also convertible. For this, what do we do? Take one square root square root expression to other side to other side so what do we do square root of 2x plus 9 is equal to 3 plus square root of x minus 4 I could have taken this also equally equally good but this has minus sign so it looked easy that it will become plus on the other side any of these two can be taken next is to scare both the sides scare both sides so what do you get you get 2x plus 9 because this scared will become 2x plus 9 is equal to this will also be scared so it will be giving me 3 square plus I will get rid of x at this k root plus x minus 4 plus 2ab 2 into 3 into square root of x minus 4 this is what I'll get so which implies so I'll just put it in a simpler form 2x plus 9 is equal to this becomes 9 plus x minus 4 plus 6 square root of x minus 4 so now this is some equation and now what we will do is keep square root only on one side only on one side so what do we do so we'll just bring all these three terms to left side so that the square root 1 remains on the one side so what does it become 2x plus 9 will be as such minus I'll just put minus around the terms that are coming from the other side it will be x will come and this will be 9 minus 4 5 so I'll get this 5 here which is equal to 6 square root of x minus 4 which implies now what does this become x 2x minus x will be x and 9 minus 5 will be 4 so I will get x plus 4 equal to 6 square root of x minus 4 now square both the sides again now square again because I will get rid of this square root so what I will get is x plus 4 I will do one thing I will take this all to this position so I will get x plus 4 whole square equal to 6 
square root of x minus 4 whole square. So this opens x square plus 16 plus 2 into 4 into x is 8x which is equal to this will be 36 into this will be x minus 4. So now we are able to see that this will be a quadratic equation. Let us now collect all the terms correctly. So this will be x square plus 8x plus 16 just put this in the right order which is equal to 36x minus 6424 to 144. Bring 36 to this side x square minus so what would it be 28x and this 144 will be to this side it will become 10 equal to 0. I am solving it completely because I have to demonstrate one point here. Now I have to find two numbers whose sum is minus 28 and product is 160 that is 20 into 8. So obviously the numbers are 20 and 8 minus 20 and minus 8. So the solution will be x equal to minus 20. This will be two numbers are minus 20 and minus 8. So solution will be minus 20 by minus 1 which is equal to 20 or x equal to the other number is what 8. It will be it's in fact minus 8 by minus 1 which is equal to 8. So the two solutions are 20 and 8. But you should see one thing that these solutions they have to satisfy this original equation. Sometimes what happens is when you put this x into this equation or this equation these square roots they become negative. In this case the solutions were both positive so the two expressions will be fitting in any case. The first one will be like square root of 2 into 20 plus 9 which is possible. But let us suppose the answer to this had been minus 20. If the answer x had been minus 20 then it would not have fitted into this one. Why? Because square root of 2 into minus 20 plus 9 would be equal to square root of minus 40 plus 9 would have been equal to square root of minus 31 which would not have been possible. So it is not just sufficient to find out these x and y. You have also to go back and verify the original equation whether the original equation will still remain intact because of your x and x found in this manner. If you haven't understood this, I'll just again write this on another page with the final requirements and the comments. If the equation is of this type, square root of ax plus b plus square root of cx plus d equal to e or also of this type square root of a minus x square equal to bx plus c. This we have already discussed today just before this one. So if it is of this form or of this form then solve for x in whatever way you do in whatever way but check back again check back again if ax plus b is more than or equal to 0 and cx plus d should be more than or equal to 0 this test should be performed reject x if 
these equations, if these in equations turn false. So reject all x which will make this go negative or this go negative. And likewise for this one, your x should be such that a minus x square stays more than or equal to 0, which implies x square should be less than or equal to a. Reject x if this condition condition fails. Let us now move on to cases of extreme complexity. So let us proceed now.